بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. So moving on, we are continuing. So if we if we must go back um, to our previous slides, and we can let's get a quick recap. So uh, this is a, remember this. What do we say? An can be zahira or an can be muzmara. Yes. Where is an zahira? When is an followed by Allah, which is written as Allah? Here it has to be zahira. Correct? No other choice. That's what it says. For yeah. Sorry, my mistake. Sorry, what am I saying? I'm saying here, lam followed by an. Sorry. Lam followed by another la. So then in between, what do you have to add? An. Zakala pardon my mistake. So what is it? Li Allah. So here you have to have an. It will be what? Apparent but nothing else. Yes? Then we have two places where you can have it both zahira and you can have it as muzmara. There's an overlap between zahira and muzmara. Which is ba'da lam li tubayyina lin nas. And also what? Lubsu aba'atin wa taqarra'ayni ahabba ilayya min lubsi shufufi. Okay? And now, we're now going on to where it has to be an muzmara. Lamul juhur ma kana allahu li adhibahum. And now we reach here, ba'da hatta. Understood? So after hatta, we're discussing that. So now from here until the end of the text, where he gets to, until he gets to that one, all of these are going to be where the an has to be muzmara. So one place it has to be zahira, two place it can be both, and the rest it has to be uh, muzmara. Understood? And then we have all of these examples, we go through it later on. Okay? And then we have ma makan, what's makan called? Makana, ay lamul juhud. Now, yeah, sorry. Okay. So now we have here, Fatuz Maru la ghair, that's the previous text, and I have ka idmariha ba'da hatta, meaning it is muzmar, it is hidden, nothing else. When, after the previous example, and also like the same way, the same way it is muzmar after hatta. So after hatta, what do we have? An muzmara. What do we have? An muzmara. Correct? But he's mentioned a condition. إِذَا كَانَ مُسْتَقْبِلًا إِذَا كَانَ مُسْتَقْبِلًا You get certain scenarios where after, kan, after hatta, you don't have a mustaqbil meaning. Okay? Or you have a jumla ismiya. Then it wouldn't be, hatta will not do amal then. Understood? When is hatta do amal? When is before a fa'lul mudari' which is in which meaning? Mustaqbil meaning. For example, Hatta yarja'a ilayna Musa until Musa returns to us. So what did they say, the, the people? Lan nabraha alayhi akifina. We will remain devout to the, what? The calf. Until Musa comes back from the mountain to us. Do you understand? So, mustaq so we say here, the Hatta can be in the meaning of Mustaqbil, future tense. Now this future can be meaning what? Relative to what is before it. Okay? Yes? Even if it's past tense. So for example, لَن نَبْرَهَ عَلَيْهِ آكِفِينَ حَتَّى يَرْجِئَ إِلَيْنَا مُوسَى Yes? And then we have an example. وَزُلْزِلُ حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولِ Yes? The example. So look, we will remain devout until... So Musa hasn't come back yet. So when they were saying this, he hadn't come back as yet. So even in the past tense event, but relative to the قَالُوا before. Yes, not our time, but the time the event is taking place. So hatta, so yarja'a is, is a past tense event, but at the time of speaking, it was a mustaqbil. So an is here. An is muzmara here after hatta. Therefore, after hatta, you have an, and that an makes what? Yarja'a into which state? Mansub state. Similarly, another example, وَزُلْزِلُوا حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولِ They were shaken, the Anbiya and the people before us, they were tested so much. حَتَّى يَقُولَ الرَّسُولِ So much so, you put here, أَنْ مُذْمَرَ Until they were, until the Rasul, so much so that the Messenger said, مَتَى نَصْرُ اللَّهِ When is the help of Allah going to come? It's so difficult. Okay, understood? Yeah. Everybody following me? Okay. Okay. 
Now, once we have hatta here, hatta can have a few different meanings. What can hatta have? A few different meanings. One meaning is kai. What does kai mean? No, that's ka. Kai. An lan kai idan. How do you translate kai? Anybody? So that. How is it translated? So that. So this hatta can also have the meaning as what? So that. Are you following? So that. So you have kai. Hatta can mean kai. Meaning it has the meaning of so that. For example, if you stay here, for example, you say to somebody, Aslim hatta tadakhul al jannah. Aslim hatta tadakhul al jannah. Aslim, bring Islam. Now you will say until you enter Jannah. What does it mean? So that. You will say here. So that. So bring Islam so that you can enter Jannah. So Hatta, it will give the word after it a nasab state and have an after it. But sometimes, so it doesn't matter. So irrespective of its meaning, the word after Hatta will have an an muqaddara if it's mustaqbil. But the meaning can either be uh, so that or the meaning can be until. Do you understand? Yes? So it says here, Qalu lan nabraha alayhi akifina hatta means what? Until. You see? Yeah, but he's saying it's both meanings. One is until or so that. So there can be both meanings. Which one? Hatta, the until ila, until meaning is more common. That's a more common meaning. But it can also come in the meaning of what? So that. Understood? Everybody following? So the main rule is if an sorry if hatta has a fa'lun mudari after it. What does hatta have after it? A fa'lun mudari after it. And that fa'lun mudari has which meaning? Mustaqbil meaning, future tense meaning. After the hatta, what will we say is mudmara? An mudmara. And that an mudmara will cause the fa'l mudari to be in which state? The mansub state. And a side note, we mentioned hatta has two meanings. What are the two meanings? So that or until. Very good. G. In my text, it actually has because one of the before Okay. Okay. I think that was to do with the previous text. The Fatud Maru La Ghair is to do with the previous one here. Uma Kaan Allah Li Azibahum Fatud Maru La Ghair. Ka. Ka Izmari Ha Ba'da. So is Muzmar La Ghair the same way it is Muzmar La Ghair in Hatta and all the rest. Everybody following? Okay. Okay, now moving on. The next one we have is what? Bubadaw. Fatuzmaru la ghair ka izmariha ba'daw. If aw comes before between two nouns. For example, uh Raaitu Raaitu Zaydan. I'm not sure. I saw Zaid or I saw Khalid, they both look the same. I'm not sure. This is a harfu at. Yes? This is what? Harfu atf meaning? Or. And that's what we normally do. Harfu atf in the meaning of what? Or. So, ra'aytu zaydan aw khalidan. I saw zayd or I saw khalid. Do you understand? Yes? Okay. We're not talking about this. We're talking about if there is an aw and before the aw, after the aw, the fa'al mudari. Yes? What do we have after the aw? A fa'lun mudari after aw. Yeah, yeah, you go to that. So after aw, after we have aw, and aw is followed by a fa'lun mudari. And this aw doesn't have the meaning of or. So sometimes you can have a fa'lun mudari. So sometimes, let's say for example, I can have Zaydun yuqimu aw yusafiru. Zayd will stay or Zayd will. What does yusafiru mean? Travel. So what does this aw mean? Or. This is a normal or. Yes? We're not talking about this. This is a normal basic harful atf. What we're talking about is that sometimes aw comes in the meaning of of what? Ila. Until. What does aw come in the meaning of? Ila. Which means? Until. Sometimes it comes in the meaning of illa. Not ila, but what? And that means what? 
unless. It means here unless. It's similar, but it's unless here. For example, if I say to you, Now, can, is this too, is it before the aw? Is there a noun before it? No. Is there a noun after it? So it's not that first simple ma'atuf. Like. Could we say this is harful atf? Look, fail mudari after it. But is a fail mudari before and a fail mudari after it the same? They're not fail mudari before. I will stick to you. But it has lamul ibtida. It has nunu tawkid. They're not the same, are they? So now we're saying here, okay, you need the meaning, you need the meaning. So, alzama yunzimu la alzimannaka, I will stick fast to you. So, I will stick fast to you. Qadha yaqdi means to uh, fulfill. So, taqdi, what's the fa'il? Anta. Until. So, now we can see this here means I will, I'm not going to let go of you. I'm not going to let you go, basically. I'm going to stick to you until you give me my right. So, let's say, owes you money or you owe me homework. So I'll say, لا ألزمنك أو تقضيني حقي. I will stick to you until. Now because this أو means what? إلى. What will happen here? What will مقدرة after أو? أن ولي مضمرة. Therefore, تقضي becomes what? تقضيني. Gee, what's the question? Which previous one? What, okay, the question is, how do we know this is in a, from the meaning? This means until, it doesn't mean, so I say for example, I say, Zaydun, if I say to you, Zaydun, Yuqimu, Zayd will stay, Aw Yusafiru, or he will travel. Yes, Aw Yusafiru. Does this tell us, and Zayd will travel until, Zayd will stay until he travels? Is it in that meaning? It doesn't have that meaning. It is saying here, Zayd is Mubtada and there's two options. This one has a meaning of until. Until. So you have a choice because it, it could be that Zayd. If you meant it, Zaydun Yuqim or Yusaf, if you meant it that way, until, then you possibly could. But uh, not here. Do you understand? Yes? Okay? Right. Another example, sometimes it comes a meaning of Illa, which means unless. So for example, لا أترك السوم أو مريض يمرض أو أمر What would it be here? أمرض Why? What does أو mean here? Unless So now you have an أو in the meaning of until or you have an أو in the meaning of unless So if you have an until or unless meaning then in these two cases what can we do? Uh, you can make an muqaddara mudhmara. An muqaddara also known as mudhmara after this aw. So if aw is in the meaning of until, i.e. ila, or in the meaning of illa, then after this you have an mudhmara, therefore the verb after it will be rendered into the mansub state. Understood? Now, what's the poem here? He's given two poems. So he's saying here in the text, so, wa ba'da, i.e. فَتُذْمَرُ لَا غَيْرِ It will be mudhmar. What will mudhmar? Oh. An will be hidden. Nothing else. It has to be. Basically, an is mudhmar, wajiban, wujuban. An has to be hidden. Nothing else. Like the way it is hidden after aw. Which aw? After the aw. Alati bima'na ila. Which is in the meaning of ila. So if aw comes after aw. In which it has the meaning of ila, an is mudmara. For example, la astas hilan saaba aw udrikal muna. La astas hilan saaba aw udrikal muna. Now, let's do the poem. What does sahlun mean? This is this darsun sahlun. Sahlun means? Uh, easy. Ma huwa bi sahlin? Huwa sahlun jiddan. And bab istifal means to do what? Uh, to, make easy. to make easy or also to? Think, of, yeah, very good. To think of it as easy. Yes? So he says here, I will continue to deem easy. What is sa'b? The, the hard thing. So if you want to get things in life, you can say, oh, that's so hard. I can't do it. I can't. You have to say what? I will continue to think and consider difficult things to be easy and achievable. Yes? I will 
I will consider Sa'ba difficult things to be easy. Aw udrikal muna until. And muna means aspirations. Adraka yudriku means to achieve. So until I adraka yudriku achieve. So why is it udrika adraka yudriku? Why is it yudriku? Because after this aw, what meaning does aw have here? Until, which is in the Arabic? Ila. Therefore, after aw, what do we have? Muqaddara, a mudmara? An. So an is mudmara here. Therefore, we say an is mudmara. So when we make the fa'il mudari after it, mansub. I will continue. I will, I will consider difficult things to be easy. I will treat difficult things to be easy until I get what I want. If you think of difficult things to be difficult, you will give up and you will fail, never get anything. So it should be motto right here in the, in the book. What about? Until I don't get what I want, provided it's a good thing. Yes? I will do what? Continue to think of it as achievable. And he explains why. فَمَنْ قَادَتِ الْأَعْمَالُ إِلَّا لِصَابِرِ In qada yan qadu is that you submit. So he's saying here, amal, What's amal mean? Amalun, amal? No, amalun, amal. That's good deeds. Amalun, amal. Copy and paste gone wrong. Hopes. Hopes or aspirations. Hopes or aspirations. Because hopes and aspirations do not submit. I want to say, oh, I want to write a book. I want to become a great muhaddith. I want to become a great uh, mufassir. I want to become a great teacher. I want to become a great scholar, I want to become a Tupaya Jannah. Do you get it by just doing anything? No. These aspirations that I have, it will never submit to me. It does not submit. Aspirations do not submit to anybody. Illa li sabiri. The one who is what? Patient. A patient meaning what? He holds fast to what he wants to do and he continues persisting doing it. Whether it means sacrificing sleep, sacrificing play, sacrificing food. La astasilanna sa'ba aw udrika al muna. فَمَنْ قَادَتِ الْأَعْمَالُ إِلَّا فَمَنْ قَادَتِ الْأَعْمَالُ إِلَّا لِصَابِرِ Yes? Understood? Yes? So here, what's happened? I got carried away in the poem. But here, this aw is in the meaning of until and an is hidden after it. Okay? Or, after the aw, which has a meaning of Unless Bima'na illa In the meaning of unless So if you have aw Which means unless Even after that You will have an mudmara For example وَكُنْتُ إِذَا غَمَزْتُ كَنَاتَ قَوْمٍ كَسَرْتُ كُؤُوبَهَا أَوْ تَسْتَقِيمًا And then for wasn You make it was أَوْ تَسْتَقِيمًا Okay What does this mean? Ghamaza is to squeeze Ghamaza is to Bend or squeeze Okay Squeeze or bend He's talking about war here, really, more or less. So he's saying here, if he's trying to say, look, when I deal with people, he's giving like a metaphor. If you've got a, a, a spear, and a spear is made of what? Wood, isn't it? And sometimes you have on the wood, you have what? Like these extra bits, sometimes a bit wonky. This is a straight one, sometimes a bit wonky, etc., isn't it? So you want it straight. So what does he do? You have to squeeze it and bend it and do all that kind of stuff to get it straight. So he says here, when I have a kanat, when I have a spear, what do you do? I, I bend it and I straighten it. I, I bend all of these. I break, the, I break it. Unless it becomes istaqama, istaqim, sarat al mustaqim. Becomes straight. So he's saying here when I bend the spear of a people, I break its uh, notches, notches. Unless it becomes straight. So similarly, the same way I have to break this, maybe either the spear becomes straight or it breaks. Yes? Similarly, when I deal with people, I say, look, either you sort yourself out, or I'll break you. Okay? But that's a bit of a war. That's all. But here the point is, what does aw mean here? Illa. So aw means what? Illa. Therefore, what do you have muzmara after it? An. And then that's why that becomes mansub. And the alif is only there to make the, the poem sound better according to the patterns of poetry. Okay? G. No, it says here, either I break you, I don't break you until you become straight. I break you unless you become straight. 
Yeah, it's a threat. Yeah? Don't live by this poem. This is the, the first one you live by that. This one is like it's poetry and war. You know, in Arabic, they have loads of poetry and loads of war and bloodshed and all that. That's how they used to. But we have to memorize these things and learn these things, preserve these things, not to act upon them, but to understand how their culture was and also to understand the language. And that's the same language the Quran came in, so we understand how the style of the Arabs were in that time. Okay, so that's what we've done so far today. Tomorrow we'll go on to uh, where and a few other places where an is Muzmara. Any questions before we finish off today? Okay, let's stop here. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika wa nashadu la ilaha illa anta wa nasakhfiruka wa natubu ilayk.